So, welcome to the 34th Shingo Conference. I'm Ken Snyder, the Executive Director of the Shingo Institute. This conference is the main highlight of our year every year at the Shingo Institute. It gives us a chance to celebrate the hard work of our award recipients, and it helps inspire all of us to find new ways to improve our organizations. This event gives us a chance to reconnect with friends we haven't seen for a long, long time. And isn't it nice to be here in person with, with one another again? And to make new friends, I hope all of you will take advantage of the opportunity to network with each other. Before we begin our, our awards ceremony part of the program, we would like to take a moment and do some thank yous. First of all, we'd like to thank the wonderful people of OC Tanner for sponsoring the Shingo Award trophies that we will be presenting tonight, and also the conference pins that we have that we Right here, I've got mine in my lapel here. We haven't been able to recognize our recipients in person since 2019, and we are so excited to be able to do that tonight. We would also like to thank Discover Financial for sponsoring different portions of this year's conference. Would you please join me in applauding these great organizations for their generous support? This year's conference is also supported by highly respected organizations who are exhibiting here over the next two days, today and tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we have dedicated some time for our exhibitor showcase. We encourage you to visit their booths and say hello. Some of these exhibitors are licensed affiliates of the Shingo Institute. These are the people who teach our Shingo workshops. I hope all of you will take some time to meet our affiliate partners who are here. We're always glad to have them. Let's give our, all of our exhibi exhibitors a round of applause. I would like to, to take a moment and mention that there will be photography throughout the night. There's flashing lights will go on and all of that. We want to capture this experience for all of the honorees in the best way we can, and we'll give instructions throughout the program on how to do that. But let's start the awards part and recognition part of our program. First of all, Doug Carlberg, you've got to be here somewhere. Would you join me up here on the stage? The Shingo Executive Advisory Board is the group of executives who volunteer their time, their talents, their wisdom, and their network to help guide the activities of the Shingo Institute. We would like to take a moment to recognize two board members who are uh, cycling off the board. I, I was gonna say retiring, but it, you're not retired, and you're not going, planning to ever again, are you? Doug has more than 35 years of experience in operations management in the electronics, telecommunications, and defense industries. He is currently the president and chairman of the board of M2 Global. He has served on the Shingo Executive Advisory Board since 1998. He has been so valuable to us in our collaboration with, the, with AME, the Association of Manufacturing Excellence. We've enjoyed having you as a member of the board, and we hope to continue the relationship as you continue to serve as a Shingo examiner. In recognition of your service on the board, we have a, a nice plaque. It says, the Shingo Institute expresses profound thanks to Douglas Carlberg in recognition of and deepest appreciation for service rendered as a member of the Shingo Executive Advisory Board, 1998 to 2022. Please join me in congratulating Doug. You Thank you word? so much. Do you want to say a word? You don't have to. All I can tell you, Lane, is a continuous journey never stop going forward thank you doug okay we would like to take a minute to also thank don tracy for his service on the board don couldn't join us in person due to family commitments this evening for those who don't know don retired from denso and became the production manager for his son's country western tour his son is a noted artist who is now taking off in nashville and doing you know, so Don's turned into a, a country western groupie. That's what I accuse him of, incidentally. But so he recently retired as executive vice president of Denso International. Don has been extremely valuable to the Shingo Institute by prov providing numerous tours of Denso in the United States and in Japan. He's also spoken at many conferences over the years about the Shingo model and how Denso has implemented it. Don has also been a, a good personal friend of mine and, to, and a friend to the Shingo community. Don was able to pre-record a few comments that we would like to share with you by video tonight. 
Okay. Uh, well, thank you, everyone, uh, for the opportunity to uh, uh, talk or uh, uh, see you, I guess, remotely again. Uh, just wanted to say a couple of things about the Shingo, my time on the Shingo board. Uh, it's one been a great honor uh, and a, really a privilege to uh, be involved with uh, the Shingo Institute and particularly the board members. I've uh, enjoyed everyone there, a lot of great people, uh, not just getting to meet the folks on the board, but a lot of other great people who uh, came to the conferences and uh, uh, gave us opportunities to meet new organizations and, and so on. Uh, you know, the time that I've spent there, I've learned uh, a lot, uh, particularly from Ken and his team uh, and the board uh, at different times throughout COVID. Uh, you know, they really exemplified uh, the uh, meaning of taking care of the people side of things. Uh, my first involvement with Shingo, uh, you know, I was with Denso Manufacturing at the time. And uh, when we won the Shingo uh, Award, uh, it very quickly evolved into the Shingo uh, taking on a more of a, a cultural or, or a behavioral, doing things that helped promote a certain behavior in organizations. And that's really what, uh, what really uh, drew me closer to the Shingo Institute. And uh, I, I really wish everyone well. Uh, I'm very grateful for my time there and uh, look very, very much forward to uh, hopefully seeing some of you out uh, and about again. Uh, I've taken a lot of what I've learned and uh, with my uh, new, uh, new job, I'm working uh, primarily for my son in TaylorMade Productions. So uh, I'm taking a lot of this to the music industry, which uh, fortunately has been able to give us uh, uh, quite a bit of inroad into uh, his entertainment as well as producing shows for uh, other entertainers. So uh, anyway, I just want to say uh, it's a it's a it's a long lived uh, progress uh, that uh, I think that the Shingo uh, Prize and the Shingo model will help uh, uh, institute or help promote in the future uh, what what it's all about. And it's really all about creating a space where uh, people, associates can be creative, uh, innovative, and uh, feel valued in the organization. And I think that Shingo, the Shingo uh, model and the Shingo Institute help promote that across a lot of different companies. And uh, I wish everyone well. Again, thank you for your time uh, here uh today or tonight uh i'm not sure what time this will be uh, uh aired but uh, i am really really thankful uh for my time with you all thank you and goodbye all right i would like to ask all of the members of the shingo executive advisory advisory board who are in attendance tonight to stand <laughs> these these are the people who give their time and their talents to help us accomplish our mission at the Shingo Institute. They don't get paid for their service. They just do it out of the goodness of their heart. So we appreciate that deeply. We appreciate the commitment you've made to helping us be successful. And please join me just in another round of applause to thank them for their service. Each year, we recognize at least one member of the Shingo community by inducting them into the Shingo Academy. This year, we are fortunate to recognize three individuals. Membership in the, Shingo in the Shingo Academy is an honor we bestow upon individuals who have distinguished themselves over their long careers in the field of organizational and operational excellence. We like to think of it as a hall of fame within the lean or Shingo community. This year, the committee, which is comprised of members of our Shingo Executive Advisory Board, have chosen three individuals to re be inducted into the Shingo Academy. Ailish Henry, Raymond Floyd, and Richard Sheridan. I believe Ailish and Rich are with us tonight and would like to ask them to join me on the stage right now. Ailish is the Director for Europe of Sisu Consulting Group, which is one of our licensed affiliate organizations. She is experienced in business transformation, including both design and implementation. Her focus is on ensuring the sustainability of improvements by securing real buy-in and ownership at all levels of the clients that she serves. 
She is a Shingo examiner. Matter of fact, we did a site visit in Tunisia once together, didn't we? We did, that was fun. She is a Shingo examiner and is highly experienced in assessing organizations against the principles of the Shingo model. She was the first Shingo facilitator, the people that teach our workshops, that was certified to teach in all of Europe. And over the past 13 years, she has supported 35 organizations, we're taking her word on this one, 35 different organizations who have achieved some level of Shingo recognition. This includes all but one of the different recipients in Ireland. And you might notice that she dressed appropriately for being from Ireland. For some reason, she loves green, I don't get it. In 2004, she was awarded the Order of the British Empire for her work in leading large cultural change, pro, change programs in the UK public sector. The Shingo Institute, in recognition of outstanding contribution to operational excellence, the Shingo Institute inducts Ailish Henry as a life member to the Shingo Academy, May 2022. Please join me in congratulating Ailish on this great honor. First of all, a very big thank you to the Academy um, for allowing me to become a member. I feel very humbled and very privileged to be in such illustrious company. Reminds me of a joke, but I won't tell you it just now. Something that Groucho Marx said a long time ago about any club that will allow him to join. Um, some of you are old enough to know it. Okay? <laughs> yes, I know that joke. I'd like to think, oh, thank also the, the Shingo Institute team, Ken and Amy and Mary, Sean, and all of the newer members of the team, Brittany and Taylor, Kate, who do a fantastic job and who make it possible for events like this to take place, for us all to get together. So they've done fantastic work over the years. So maybe they could have a round of applause. They will get one later, I know, but maybe a round of applause for all of them. I'd like to thank also the wider Shingo community. It's always wonderful to come to these events and we've missed them over the past couple of years to meet with other like-minded people um, who understand what you're talking about when you talk about principles. That's wonderful. Um, I'd like to mention also um, someone I worked with in the past and who's no longer with us, a colleague from the UK who sadly died in a, an accident at the end of last year, Carl Tomlinson. He was a phenomenal human being, kind, principled, a really huge advocate of the shingle model, taught people in every direction, taught customers, taught his colleagues, taught everyone, and I learned a lot from him, and I miss him, and I think everyone who knew Carl misses him as well. I want to thank also the amazing companies and, and fantastic people I've been able to work with over the years, and some of them are here this evening, which is wonderful. It's been a great privilege, fantastic to work with them, and I've learned so much from them. Um, and it feels like a bit of a swizz. They do all the hard work and I get to be a member of the academy. But life's not very fair, is it? So, okay. Um, I want to thank my colleague, Mike. Mike, those of you who know him, Mike is fantastic. He's challenging, he's knowledgeable, he's always entertaining. And I can honestly say that working with Mike is never dull, okay? Mike. A final word of thanks to someone who can't be here this evening, and that's my husband, Noel. Um, he's in the middle of a cycle of chemotherapy at the moment, and his immune system is suppressed, so it wouldn't have been safe for him to travel. And he's been my stalwart supporter for years. He's always been behind me, even when I've been wandering around the globe getting to work with great people and fantastic companies. He's always been there with me. And so this award this evening is as much for him as it is for me. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ken. Next, we would like to recognize Rich Sheridan, and I realized later to, that a little bit earlier, I was going to bring a prop with me, and you're just going to have to pretend when I get to that point, but Rich knows what I'm talking about, and I just forgot to bring my prop, so my fault on that one, just bad memory and not thinking. Okay, Rich obtained a master's degree in computer engineering from the University of Michigan and worked his way up through a number of Ann Arbor tech companies. At the midpoint of his career, he wanted out. He was no longer experiencing the joy 
that had first drawn him to programming, and this inspired him to pursue lasting change at his workplace. His investigation led him to different books, videos, and methodologies that opened his eyes to a new approach for building and running teams. On June 12, 2001, Menlo Innovations LLC was born. Since then, his passion for creating and sharing a joyful work environment led to his best-selling and widely celebrated book, Joy, Inc. This is where I'm holding up the prop that I forgot to bring. How We Build a Workplace People Love. His second book, Chief Joy Officer, How Great Leaders Elevate Human Energy and Eliminate Fear, continues on that theme with a focus on leadership style. Rich, it is my pleasure to recognize you. There we go. Recognize you for your outstanding contribution to organizational and operational excellence. On behalf of the Shingo Institute, welcome to the Shingo Academy. Please join me in a round of applause. Congratulations and well deserved. There you go. The inscription's the same, so I won't read it again, but fill in the blank with Rich Sheridan in that honor. And then we're going to let Rich say a few words here. Probably a dangerous thing to have two people of Irish heritage step up to a microphone. Um, this is uh, an incredible honor, and I know there are many friends in this crowd that help make this happen, and I am eternally grateful for the recognition this represents. Uh, for me, I am always thinking about embodiment and expression. And the Shingu Institute is an embodiment of what all of us want to express within our organizations. And this, none of what I've accomplished at Menlo would not have been possible without my co-founder, James Goble, who is sitting there with me. I may have embodied the idea, but he helped me express it in ways that I would have never imagined. So let's give him a little thank you. Yes. Thank you, James. <clears throat> thank you. Next, we would like to recognize Raymond Floyd. Raymond has continuously applied the Shingo guiding principles since he connected with Shigeo Shingo in 1983 and is widely recognized as the first manager executive to use the principles of the Shingo model in process engineering. During his long career at Exxon, Ray served as global manager of Exxon's synthetic rubber business site manager for the Exxon Baytown chemical plant, shared services manager for the entire Baytown complex, and as global manager of operations for Exxon Chemical. Over that time, he led improvements that exceed $30 billion. These are Exxon numbers, of course, so the, yeah, everything is like huge. Ray is also credited with improvements totaling more than $11 billion when he was at Suncor. Ray has been a member of the Shingo Executive Advisory Board for several years before my time, so I didn't know Ray until he was nominated and I got to know him as a result of the nomination process. And he was also an assessment and examiner and assessment team leader for sites that challenged for the Shingo Prize. Ray still does consulting and presentations and seminars to many process organizations to help them advance the Shingo guiding principles in their organizations. Ray has published two books detailing the culture and practice of the Shingo guiding principles in process manufacturing. His book, a Culture of Rapid Improvement was published in 2008. His book, Liquid Lean, was published in 2010, and that one received a Shingo Publication Award. Ray has degrees in chemical engineering, business administration, and law. He is professionally licensed as an engineer, attorney at law, and a patent attorney. In 2011, Ray was inducted to the Industry Week Magazine Manufacturing Hall of Fame. Ray, it is my pleasure to recognize you for your outstanding contribution to organizational and operational excellence. On behalf of the Shingo Institute, welcome to the Shingo Academy. Ray wasn't able to join us tonight, but we do have a short thank you video of him receiving the award, so we'd like to share that with you. First, I want you to know how sorry I am that it's not possible for me to be with you tonight. Events like this allow each of you, from Shingo Prize winners to organizations that are just beginning to practice operational excellence, to both celebrate excellence and to learn from others. I hope you experience, as I have, 
that the continuous improvement mindset and tools will become a part of your life. You'll begin to understand and react to many things around you in a different way. As Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. The Shingo methodology has helped me to lead some of the world's largest and most complex organizations to public recognition as the best of their kind. And it has also helped me to coach a 12 year old granddaughter's church league volleyball team. During the 1980s, I regularly presented at conferences sponsored by Norman Bodex Productivity Incorporated, and I had the opportunity to meet Shigeo Shingo in person on several occasions. Shingo was truly a great man, and he is a lasting in inspiration. I attended my first Shingo conference in 1991 when an Exxon organization I led received the Shingo Prize. For two more years, I attended these conferences as the leader of Shingo's field assessment team. I was back again when my book, Liquid Lean, received the Shingo Award for research. I've also attended other Shingo conferences, and on every occasion, I learned something of great value and met world-class individuals who have become colleagues and even friends. I trust that you are all having that same great experience this week. Shingo's principles are not just about improvement, but about continuous and rapid improvement. It's clear that the pace of improvement is continuously accelerating. More than any other factor, the pace at which an organization improves is much more important than your current competitive ranking in determining your future success. If you think about the relationship among position, speed, and acceleration, it's clear that in the long term, the best rate of acceleration always wins. When I joined GM in 1970, they were the largest and most profitable industrial organization in the world, and they alone produced 81% of all the cars sold in the US market. 39 years later, GM was better in every way, except that in 2009, they declared bankruptcy. They had gotten better, but the competition had gotten much better, much faster. Today, GM has less than 20% of the US market. Importantly, great manufacturing following Shingo principles is achieved by engaging everyone within the organization so that each person can and does make her his or her own best contribution. The leadership, diversity, inclusion, and empowerment required to achieve a successful outcome in our operations also brings direct benefits to individuals and indirect benefits to our whole community. It's a true honor for me to be inducted to the Shingo Academy. For me, supporting operational excellence is both a passion and a duty. Some of you may know that I'm also a member of the Board of Overseers for the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award and a member of the Manufacturing Hall of Fame. All three organizations encourage members to promote operational excellence and to help others to achieve operational excellence. I'm really excited to belong to these organizations that do both. Thanks so much to the Shingo Academy for inviting me to join. And thanks to all of you for what you are doing here this week and within your organizations. I hope that this week is a very valuable experience for you. Please join me in congratulating Raymond Floyd. I, I, I do want to add a little side comment. Over, over the course of this nomination and selection process and then uh, uh, communicating to Raymond that he had been selected to join the academy, I had four different Zoom calls with him. And two times he came onto the Zoom call, he was Raymond Floyd, and two times his granddaughter had changed, I don't know if it's the same one that he coaches her soccer team, but a granddaughter, who might be the same one, had changed his name to Viejo. <laughs> I found it rather humorous too. <laughs> All right, another fun part of the program, we're going to recognize the Shingo alumni. A few years ago, we decided to recognize individuals who have completed all of the Shingo workshops, therefore giving them the title of Shingo alumni. These individuals have distinguished themselves by applying what they learn in the workshops and implementing systems that help to drive their, the cultural transformation within their organizations. The Shingo alumni have helped their organizations drive this cultural transformation, which has led to improved performance. More than 500 people have earned this status, and the list is growing longer every month. 
I encourage each of you to challenge yourselves to complete your education and add your name to this prestigious list. The alumni names can be found on our website at shingo.org slash alumni. If you haven't been recognized on stage at a previous Shingo conference, we had a, in 2019, we had a, a group that came up, but if you haven't been recognized, so that any time in the last three years, if you become a Shingo alumni, please join me up on stage. Tony Hayes. Tracy Duncan. Laszlo Mogyar. Allison Dobbins. Paul Todd. Corey Jones. Patty Heatwall. Roger Echeverria. Virginia Cosgrove. Marshall Hooper. Shirley Varela. Cristina Alvarez. Mike Kingzet. Marianela Alfaro. Rafaela Greco. Nelson Chávez. Constanza Arjona. Claudio Pérez. Douglas Dawson. Guillem Sibekas. Lynn Tomaszewski. Eduardo Mezcua. <laughs> right. 
That was fun, wasn't it? That was good to honor those, those people. Please join me in one final round of applause for all of the Shingo alumni. We would like to take a moment and invite the Shingo alumni in the audience who didn't come up on stage to stand for just a second so we can recognize them. There we go. We got a few. Congratulations to, to all of you. My name's Sean Barker. I'm the Assistant Executive Director of the Shingo Institute. I'd like to take just a moment to talk about the Shingo examiners who take on the hard work of assessing organizations we're about to honor this evening. Shingo examiners serve as members of, a diverse, of diverse teams who assess organizations that challenge for the Shingo Prize. I can tell you that they approach each assessment with intellectual rigor and depth of thought and knowledge. It is a lot of work because no matter how great the organization is, there are always ways to improve. Part of the work of the Shingo Examiner is to provide a list of things that organizations can continue to work on. You may already know this, but the time that examiners spend on Shingo assessment, on the Shingo assessment process is all voluntary. Uh, we'd like to thank them for their time and expertise and thank their employers for allowing them to participate as Shingo examiners. The Shingo Institute would not have the impact it has had today without these individuals and the organizations that they serve. So thank you. We'd also like to give special thanks to the Ex Executive Examiner Committee, who has spent many hours over the past couple of years improving the process of challenging, especially in this new hybrid world we're living in today. Will all the Shingo examiners please stand and be recognized? I work very, very closely with a lot of the examiners, and I can't tell you how grateful I am for their willingness to serve. Thank you all for so much of your time, your talents, and most of all, your hard work and your friendship. Recipients of the Shingo Publication Awards join a distinguished group of authors, thought leaders, and practitioners. These are people who, because of their commitment to share their expertise and hours of research, make remarkable contributions to the community of continuous improvement practitioners. We're thrilled to be able to recognize Peter Wilmont, John Cork, and Andy Brunskill with the Shingo Publication Award for their book, TPM, A Foundation of Operational Excellence, accepting on their behalf is John Cork. So this is Gary Griffiths. He's going to accept the award on behalf of Andy. Andy Bronsko. So, so on behalf of uh, my co-authors Peter Wilmot and Andy Bronsko, and our graphics designer Alex Everett, uh, a young upstart, um, and the team at SA Partners, we're truly honoured and grateful for this award. Um, our thanks also to the Shingo Institute and the clients who contribute to the book. Um, due to illness, unfortunately, Peter and Andy could not make it tonight, so they've sent a video message to say hello. Hello everyone, I feel both truly grateful and humbled for the recognition of the Shingo Publication Award. Unfortunately, whilst I can't be with you in person today, I know you'll be in a safe pair of hands with the physical presence of one of my co-authors, John Quirk, also aided and abetted by a similarly virtual version of my other co-author, Andy Brunskill. Over these past 30 years or so, it's been my absolute privilege to work with well over 50 clients and customers, many of whom were early adopters of the TPM philosophy as a system of work, including three recent Shingo Prize Award winners. My moment of clarity, or as I prefer to refer to it, my light bulb moment, happened to me in the early 1990s whilst visiting Japan and heading up a series of five TPM study tours and seeing TPM in action. 
My unwavering belief and passion is still with me today, some 30 years later, in the sense that the initials TPM stand for Today People Matter. Thank you and enjoy the gala. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm delighted that TPM, a foundation of operational excellence, has been awarded the Shingo Publication Award. And like Peter, I'm really disappointed that I can't be with you today. Um, the TPM system has been developed by working with our clients over the last 25 years. TPM is fundamentally about unlocking the potential of our people, often referred to as the eighth waste, in order to release productive capacity. And basically the book describes the journey that companies need to follow in order to achieve this. I hope you have a great conference and hope to see you soon one day. All the best. Think about this. Okay. So imagine spending millions of dollars building this fantastic business to produce stuff or provide a service. So maybe hundreds or maybe even thousands of people travel in and out to this place every day for their work. The business consumes resources, raw materials, energy, water, requires a logistics network, or in the investment, all that stuff that makes businesses work. But yet when we can sit back and we measure the real effectiveness of that business, and we look at a number, we often see numbers as low as 18%, maybe even 30% if you're lucky. We've seen businesses as low as 9%. So our planet cannot take that sort of waste anymore. We have a moral obligation now to get the most out of our assets and our resources by enabling the best from our people. In our book, we focus on the systems and the culture that enable teams to better understand and engage with and improve the processes and equipment they work with every day, reducing waste, improving inefficiency and conserving resources. The new nature of business is not just about delivering value. It's now a focus on how that value is delivered. We must engage our teams in the constant improvement of our processes to optimize the use of our resources. TPM, if we adopt that as a system and a culture, gives us a real methodology to do that. So thank you. Thank you for the Institute. Thanks for the prize, thanks for the party, and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Take care. Now it's time to begin to recognize um, our recipient sites. If an organization comes away with any award after undergoing the rigor of a Shingo assessment, um, it's a very clear sign that a tremendous amount of meaningful work has happened at that organization. The Shingo Bronze Medallion recognizes the exceptionally hard work of building an organization's culture towards a strong use of tools and techniques for business improvement. The Shingo Silver Medallion signifies an organization that has continued maturing with primary focus on tools and systems in which those tools work for improvement. And of course, the Shingo Prize is the recognition of organizations that, that of an organization that has managed through hard work and long persistence to establish a culture rooted in principles that push behaviors ever closer to ideal. And now, without further ado, let's watch our first recipient video. At Abbott Donegal, we help manufacture the worldwide supply of Abbott Freestyle Glucose Test Devices, including breakthrough products such as the sensors for the Freestyle Libre system. Our focus is on making breakthrough technology approachable and accessible for all, to create a world where every person is free to live their fullest life. Since starting our operations in 2006, our journey has been one of sustained commitment by everyone here at Abbott's Diabetes Care and Manufacturing Site in Donegal. To be recognised as a Shingo Silver Medallion recipient is a significant achievement for our site and one we are immensely proud of. 
We have seen sustainable results through the behaviours of every person, being engaged every day, making improvements and bringing benefits to our customers. Working at Abbott Donegal has allowed me to develop my career in a direction that interests me and I have supportive colleagues that motivate me every day. Shingo has provided us the model to develop systems and tools which work towards sustaining a culture of organisational excellence. Our Shingo journey has given us the confidence to know we are on the right path to organisational excellence and we plan to continue that journey with our greatest asset, our people. Congratulations, Abbott Diabetes Care, Donegal, Ireland, as a recipient of the Shingo Silver Medallion. Accepting on their behalf is Orla McCade, Operations and, and Operational Excellence Manager, and Sean O'Hare, Site Director. Congratulations for this exceptional achievement. An Irishman never says too many words, as Eilish said earlier, um, but a few very quick words. It's my great honour and pleasure to, to accept this award on, on behalf of the team back in Donegal. Um, we have a fantastic team, a team that does great work, um, and a team that's embraced this journey through many years and continues to embrace that journey today. A team, though, that's needs help along the way as well, so I want to take a moment just to recognise a few of the people that have helped us along the way. First of all, um, a lady that's worked with us since 2015, in different guises, different parts of the journey. And that lady's been recognized here tonight already, but she's done a tremendous job for us. And is much more than just a, a consultant that comes in. She's a friend and a colleague. Um, and we regard her as part of the Abbott family. And I want to thank Ailish Henry for the work that she's, she's done throughout those years. I also want to thank um, Hakeem Ahmed from Horizon Consulting, who also done a lot of work with us and supports us on that journey and, and helps us in different ways to look at how we challenge ourselves to be, to be better each day. Um, I want to thank the, the Shingo Institute for their guidance along the way. They've been a great partner to us. Uh, we've been working with them for, for quite a while in, in different parts of the organization and continue to work with them. But they've been a great support to us as we work through this journey. And um, we thank them for, for your support and, and uh, guidance along the way. Finally, I want to thank um, Orla, who's here with us today. I, I've said this before in, in a similar event to this a few years ago. Um, every orchestra you know, needs a conductor. and. We've been very fortunate that in, in Donegal, that conductor for us has, has been Orla. So she's helped us and plotted the, the journey for us that we've been on. And um, I want to sincerely publicly thank Orla for all that she's done throughout the, the last number of years and supporting us on that journey. And uh, as I say, that journey continues. But we're extremely proud to bring this award back to people in Donegal and to recognize the good work that they've achieved over the last number of years. Thank you very much. What a great evening we've had so far. It's always such an honor to recognize the hard work and accomplishments of our award recipients. Recipients of the Shingo Prize are organizations that have successfully established a culture anchored on principles of organizational and operational excellence. They have robust systems with strong performance indicators and key behavioral indicators. Shingo Prize recipients show the greatest potential for sustained improvement as measured by the frequency, intensity, duration, scope, and role of the behaviors evident in the organizational culture. Now for our next reward. Congratulations to Jabel Healthcare Bray Ireland as a recipient of the Shingle Prize. Accepting on their behalf is Roisin McEntee, Regional Lean Manager. Congratulations for this extraordinary achievement. Jable is one of the world's largest manufacturing solutions providers. At Jable, we help the world's leading brands bring their products to market in packaging, energy and industrial, automotive and transportation, print and retail, computing, mobility and the healthcare sector. Founded in Ireland in 1980, 
Jabel's healthcare facility in Bray annually produces millions of medical devices, diagnostics, drug delivery and packaging products and components that improve patients' lives every day. Here in Jabel Bray, our mission is to be the most technologically advanced and trusted manufacturing solutions provider. Our purpose every day is to make a difference. Make a difference in how we treat each other, extend innovative solutions and services to our customers, support our local community, and respect our environment. We've been working towards operational excellence since 2012. However, the Shingo Insights, with their focus on ideal behaviours and their drivers, have helped us develop a more holistic approach and create exceptional value for our customers. This has created an engaging culture, increasing our continuous improvement participation year on year. We work to create a culture of continuous improvement collaborating to solve problems using AFRIS, the MIAX, Kaizen's and suggestion programs. The benefit of adopting the Shingo model is that culture is at the heart of the model and it provided us with a roadmap to achieve excellence in our culture. The Shingo model brings people together as one team with a shared purpose to make a difference. It enables the team to develop and reach its full potential and deliver outstanding results for our customers. We're delighted to be one of the few manufacturing solutions providers to be awarded the Shingo Prize. We're so proud of the team and the work that everybody on site has done to attain this great achievement. Shingo means to me collaborating, communicating, growth, openness, culture, excellence, Roisin, would you like to join me up on the stage? Okay, unlike all the rest of the Irish people here, I don't talk much, so this is going to be short. So I'm delighted to accept this on behalf of all the team in Jabel Bray. It was a truly site-wide initiative. There is only one person in the lean team, so it was everybody in the site involved. I'd also like to thank those in the corporate lean team, past and present, who challenged us to do this. It wasn't our idea, I can tell you now. You know, we didn't think we were ready. They pushed us, reminded us as we could do it. And also Steve, who's from the Manufacturing Institute, who has supported us over the last two to three years, coaching us, encouraging us, guiding us, making us stop and think about what we were doing. And it really did work. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> Our next recipient was recognized as a Shingo Silver Medallion recipient in 2019. As we hope with all of our medallion recipients, they took the feedback from the examiner team and improved their culture to the next level. We have a little video from Hologic. From the heart of the Americas, we're taking science to the next level to enable healthier lives. Everywhere, every day. At Hologic Costa Rica, we work day in, day out, guided by our promise, passion, and purpose. Pillars that have driven our medical device manufacturing work since 2002 and the development of shared services centers that provide support to our different processes. The relationship between our great human talent and the use of state-of-the-art technology constantly creates innovative products for gynecological health and early breast cancer diagnosis and treatment. The passion of being global leaders in women's health has motivated us to develop a culture of operational excellence based on the Shingo model. This model and its principles are embodied in everything from the recruitment of our human talent to the development of our processes, as evidenced by the passion, growth, and commitment of our leaders and employees. The generation of ideas for continuous improvement 
and our commitment to sustainability through tools for solar power generation, rainwater reuse, and recycling programs, among others. We're thus optimizing our productivity with minimum impact on the environment. Our results and that commitment to excellence have enabled us to diversify our operations. At Ologic Costa Rica, we promote research and development and agility for introducing new products. We also enhance the satisfaction of our internal and external customers through our excellent service. We understand that we are in an endless process. We are not a finished product. At Hologic Costa Rica, we continue to be committed to excellence for the well-being of thousands of people around the world and for continuing to give life to our promise of the science of sure. Congratulations, Hologic Coyo Costa Rica Pudavida. Accepting on their behalf is Nilo Caravaca, Vice President of Operations, and many of you got to meet him this morning when he was telling about their journey. Please, Nilo, come join me up here. Good afternoon, everybody. I, uh, this time, I, I had to write what I was going to say because <laughs> when, when I practiced this over and over, I thought I was a little emotional on this. Uh, I, I can lie. Uh, we, we feel humbled uh, to be recognized today with this award. And to be honest, we are extremely happy, as we dreamt for many years, to be receiving this recognition in this stage. Uh, we thought we, we were ready uh, just when the pandemic hit us. But we understand plans not always come uh, or happen as you thought of them. Uh, but this is life. You, you, you set your goal, roll with the punches as, as things change, but always thinking on how to do better every day. I, I love working with the people and leaders in our team. They are ethical, passionate, honest, extremely capable, and always want to do their best. And a lot more to accomplish our purpose, passion, and promise. Thank you, guys. You're awesome. We have uh, a huge challenge in front of us. We maintain the continuous improvement and spark alive and growing. Since we never want to consider ourselves a finished good, we want to consider ourselves, using the manufacturing jargon, work in process. A special thanks to the Shingo Institute, the, their staff, the OPEX Academy team that helped us along the way and to all the persons that help us along our journey towards operational excellence. And you know, at the end of the day, this is all happened because we have the eye of the tiger. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Before we say good night this evening, I would like to thank the team at the Shingo Institute for all. Sorry. <laughs> I get to work with some really great people, and sometimes it just, it just makes me <clears throat> really proud of them. I want to thank all of them for their hard work and their dedication over the past couple of years. It has not been easy for the Shingo Institute. We are, uh, we are based on events, and when you can't do events, sometimes it gets hard. Um, we've made the adjustment to, to hybrid and virtual. Um, that is not our most desirable way of delivering workshops or study tours or conferences, but we made the change when we had to and we developed high quality virtual and hybrid um, solutions so that we could keep the process going during a time that was difficult for everybody. We have a, a great team and I'm thankful to be able to work with them. Last, I would like to thank all of you for celebrating with us tonight. This truly is a great celebration. It's one that we treasure every year. We thank you for continuing to build a culture of growing and enduring excellence by networking and learning with each other, 
We hope that in the coming year you will all continue to thrive and improve a little each day. We hope you will take a moment to reflect on what you've learned from the sessions today and tomorrow, and we encourage you to have some fun. We encourage you also to keep on learning and improving, so, but take time to celebrate your successes. Debrief with your team after the conference, and most importantly, pat yourself on the back for making the decision to be here. It is our thrill to see you in person again. Congratulations again to all of our recipients tonight. From everyone at the Shingo Institute, we wish you a good night and look forward to seeing you in the morning. Thank you very much.